Alright guys, welcome back to Batman, uh, the Telltale series. So, um, we are finally back. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change God. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. I was just working the night shift. Yeah, well, then you're pulling a double. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. With the grease, they're the wheels. Huh, a little liquid courage before facing your adoring public. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned the city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. And all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh... A new face for Gotham. Hmm? Be you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, it can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. Everything looks so good. I love the Telltale series, how they de do these games. I mean, look at the graphics. Uh, kind of crappy, but good. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. <laughs> I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. But first. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. This city bluster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, a cape bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bob, regarding Golden Age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get... Creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, 
to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway. It was terrible. Truly terrible. Uh, and a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. next mayor and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I do mind. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow, then. Mr. Wayne, you... You've got something on your collar. Uh, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like... Oh, this? No, it's nothing. Just, uh, cut myself shaving. What? Butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Could you excuse me, Master Bruce? But, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm oh. sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one. No, it's Carmine Falcone. Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. But at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. Been in the market for a new house. A decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. My family built this house. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And everyone. Just need to find the right currency. Come on, Falcon. Thank you for welcoming me in your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy who's going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. And... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... Ah, ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? 
And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. Uh, Mr. Falcone, I... No more warnings. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me an adjustment. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationships. get Harvey the mayor's seat, or I can pull it out from under him. Okay, imagine, this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. <laughs> oh my god. already for this uh, maybe next time yeah
Thanks for that nice and good. Seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave, in front of a computer. Oh, this is my passion. Regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. They're not unappreciated. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to sell? In the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. Yo. Man, this is cool. Okay, my memory decided to uh, die, and like, there was no gigabytes, so now we can continue. switch from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. No, people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. <laughs> Found her. Alright, cat burglar. Crimes burglary at Petty Larson. New criminal on the scene tied to several recent break-ins. And she's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. That's not the point. I want criminals to know I'm out there. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. Now, I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to the city. You know why I do this. For the car, I presume. Well, the car helps. Oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. <laughs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Oh, 
that I thought I saw. I was, you know what, 20 years? That's not my son. We were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? As a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I have the faintest idea. You think he's looking for a handout? He would have come to the right person. No, because I'm... Because you're generous. A little too much sometimes, with your wealth, your time, and even your well-being. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Hmm. The one that got away. Wow. Alright, well, I guess that's gotta be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Batman Arc uh, the Telltale series. Uh, I'm so over about the Arkham Knight. Alright, so guys, I will see you in the next video. And it's gonna be Arkham Knight. Bye bye!